bones don't seem human to me. Let's go! Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon.
There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, Master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Birch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. What did you need the children for? We? We? They needed us? Our care. Where are they? They are far away. Their troubles are over. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us and return for what you reject. They always come back. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. 
thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. The blood! Mm, the blood of the traitress. for him. Imlirith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Plump. Perfect for broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die <laughs> this new handsome night. <laughs> I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, 
bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Your wife is with the crones as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself. And uh, we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. 
One solid brute. It landed. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth! You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well, when your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where? Shh. 
She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Dare you! Sorry, I was What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Oh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, oh, quit your carping, smartass. Someone wagered him, and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. 
time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Why the devil are there witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blobtits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's bawling. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Last road with them. Asking after a mother, Constant. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. Fall in with the swamp to cross and those cursed crowns to hunt down. <laughs> Plowing swamp. Fox-ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hay seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that way. Always. <laughs> Not many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find deeper in? That fair talking? Through you? Brawny bird? Who? Me? Here? Not your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace, show these horrors who's in charge. Water hikes. 
Where's a horror like that come from? A wench that's had too much hooch turns into that. The next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off drinking it down yourself. Change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the Eternal Fire protects me. Hmm. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her. Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really? He pay you much to be his yes-man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Don't. Over here! Scrubbedy good. Oi! Get back, stinky head. Gingerbread loaf, freshly baked and hot. Mother. Ah, there. Clean as a whistle. Fresh as a daisy. Go on, whip me. I made it too little. I nibbled it, but just to see if it's firm. But it's fresh. So take pity. Oh, Mother. Take pity. I pleaded. I begged. Mother, it's me. You recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Wolves, perhaps. Didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. 
Get ready. a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? <clears throat> Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell. It must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. Before we do anything, we've got to get her out of here. Crones know we've come for her. Might send another monster, something worse than a fiend. I'll not go anywhere until you tell me you can help her. Break the spell. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crones village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. 
He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties. To the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Witchers were made to kill monsters. It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right, that's all. Witchers don't debate. Their conscience plays no part. They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. Shut your trap if you want this to be done soon. The man needs to concentrate. <laughs> your orsons all. Oh. I said shut it. What are you looking at? Want to be next for a thrashing? What's going on here, sir? My daughter, help us. My men need some diversion from time to time. They get jumpy elsewise. I can't let this happen. I won't. Figured it might end this way. Get him! Witcher, greetings. Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer for the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. 